Anyway, if you get the stun, you could do something, uh, you know, which I'm dubbing the Nairo loop, where you'll do side B, um, and then you'll do the, the back down tilt to uh, trip. Now, this is the Nairo loop because it's kind of like a, it's kind of like an infinite where you trip and then side B. Now, ideally, the plan is like you wait for them to get up attack and then you do it again. So if they're just mashing A, you could probably get a, a free like extension, then do it again, and then you know do some kind of combo. I'll let you guys practice combos for yourself. This isn't a combo guide. This is a Kazia, you know, understanding him. So that's those are Nairo loops, the side beam to back down tilt, which I'll get into uh, later on, of course. So now the back diagonal standing, it's this trip kick. So remember the Nairo loops, side B, trip kick, side B. Now the beauty of the Nairo loop, and this will this will help you get the hang of a lot, is that. When I side B here, I literally just bring my control stick. So I side B, okay, let's say I side B, and then I just, you know, drag my control stick down to the corner, to the back corner, and then I just mash A. And the thing is, because I automatically turn around, I don't actually have to like turn around. So I literally hold side B. So I hold side B, then I just roll my control stick and mash A. Because when I side B, I go to the other side, so I just mash A, and because he turns around, I end up doing the back A. So it's really easy just to hold the input. So a lot of his moves are really easy just to buffer. 